You'd think that since humans have been using essential oils for almost 5,000 years, that we would have a consensus about the right way to use them. What's safe? What's not? What do you need? For what? But the fact of the matter is, there is so much misinformation online about essential oils, and it leads people to be scared, and it leads to a lot of scary headlines. In this video, let's talk about five myths about essential oils that we need to kick to the curb. Myth number one, essential oils cannot be consumed. Don't do that, that'll kill you. Actually, humans have been consuming essential oils in our foods and beverages for thousands of years. To deny that humans can safely ingest essential oils is to deny that we can eat some of our most basic foods. Things like basil, oregano, thyme, all of these herbs contain essential oils. So too do our citrus fruits. So we've already been eating essential oils as part of our diet. Furthermore, the Food and Drug Administration has a list of dozens of essential oils that are generally recognized as safe for human consumption. So small amounts ingested daily can be perfectly safe. Somebody is gonna fall in love with you tonight. It's just perfume. I swear, some people, you just can't even. When I hear people say that essential oils are nothing more than nice smelling perfumes, I get almost angry because essential oils have so many different varied uses that can impact our entire body. I mentioned to Miss Know-It-All that somebody might fall in love with her tonight because she is rolling on essential oils. That is because essential oils target an ancient portion of your brain known as the limbic system. And this is where our memories, our mood, our emotions, and our hormones are all housed. Simply inhaling an essential oil can impact that part of your brain, and who knows, maybe even Miss Know-It-All can fall in love. Hey, hey guys, look what I got. No, 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 it's not safe here. Why? The essential oil diffuser is running. Pets and oils aren't safe. Where are you taking Darnell? Actually, our friend Darnell here is quite safe in a room with essential oils diffusing. Of course, when it comes to pets, you do have to have some special safety considerations. For fish, you want to avoid placing essential oils directly into the fish tank. Instead, be sure that you are diffusing in a well-ventilated room. Cats have their own very particular safety considerations, and I talk all about it over on my blog about what you need to look out for in your cats to make sure that they are staying safe. People even use their essential oils with birds and reptiles, and let's go check out one other four-legged friend. Same thing when it comes to dogs. Dogs also can use essential oils. Small amounts used daily can be perfectly safe for all of your four-legged friends. Check out this essential oil I just got. <laughs> That's nothing. Look what I just got from the lady over on the corner. You got ripped off. When it comes to essential oils, quality really matters. It's important to have a concept of what it takes to get that essential oil in the bottle. 
First, it takes a lot of plant material. And so you have to be sure that you're working alongside a company that is dedicated to excellence in farming practices. It also takes a lot of human labor. So you have to be sure that you know that the company you're purchasing from has fair labor practices and ensures that they are treating their workers ethically. You also have to be sure that the plants are obtained from the appropriate sources. There are a lot of people that will sell you a lot of oils and say that they do a lot of things, but you have to be sure that what is inside that bottle is 100% pure essential oil. And one of the easiest ways to ensure that you're getting lesser quality and perhaps even getting synthetics is to buy cheap oils in bulk. Hey girl, congrats on your pregnancy by the way. Don't worry, I'm over your house right now and I'm gonna rid the entire place of all of those toxic essential oils. Now, can I claim that every essential oil is 100% safe all the time in pregnant women? Of course not. Pregnant women do have to use some caution, especially when it comes to essential oils that are high in E-anethol. E-anethol is a chemical constituent found within essential oils that has been shown to be more risky than other chemical constituents throughout pregnancy. Many women who are pregnant choose to avoid essential oils like fennel and sweet fennel and anise because of this high concentration of E-anethol. That said, most of the toxicity in women who are pregnant actually comes from overdose. So as always, use small amounts of essential oils daily and never overuse them. The next time someone tries to lay a scare tactic on you, you can set them straight because now you know all the myths about essential oils. You did it. You made it all the way to the end of the video. Leave me a heart below and show me some love. And if you like videos like this, subscribe to this channel and follow at Lindsay Elmore on all social media.